Hey guys, this video is for those who can't focus for long periods. That was the second most popular answer from the poll I did the other day, and it seems to be one that you guys need a bit of help with. So let's start by thinking, what is focus? Focus is your attention span. I like to think of it like a laser beam. So when your focus is on, you're laser focused on one thing. When you're lacking focus, it's wavering, it's distracted. The beam's going from side to side, and you're struggling to get your attention span to focus on what you want. So for poker, when you're focused, things are going great. Your head's on the table, you're thinking about what the hands are doing, and you're really being able to make the correct decisions. When you lose focus, the opposite happens. You're distracted. You turn to social media, you turn to other things. Anything can get in your way if you're actually playing your A game. So, basically, you guys were asking about the focus for long periods. So I'm going to assume that you can focus in the short term. So let's assume you can focus for the first half an hour and then say 45 minutes in, an hour in, you start to lose focus. What can you do? So the problem is focus and distraction are like cousins. So you can train the skill of focus or you can train the skill of distraction. Like I talked about in yesterday's video, when you guys need to eliminate distractions, it links very heavily to focus. So when you constantly turn to social media, you constantly turn into YouTube and other stimulus, you're training yourself to be distracted. Now, this is a knock-on effect when you want to focus. Now you're playing poker and you want to be focused on the, on the, on the tables and all of a sudden you feel distracted. Oh, surprise, surprise, because you train yourself 24 seven to respond to stimulus and to be distracted. So the same way you train yourself to be distracted, you need to train yourself to be focused. So this is what I want you to do. Next time you're in a session and you feel like you're struggling to focus, force yourself to narrate the hand in real time. So what I like to do is go in, what's going on? I like to try and predict what card's gonna come next. So flops come down, I'm like, what's the turn gonna be? Just in my own head playing this little game. What's my opponent gonna do? What size is he gonna go for? Tell myself these little stories, try and predict what's gonna happen, make it a game within a game. So now, just by having these little stories and telling them in your head, you get a clear image of what's going on and you're forcing your focus to stay on what in one place. Everyone gets distracted from time to time. It's impossible to be 100% focused 100% of the time. You sort of try and train yourself to focus harder. So next time you feel you get yourself getting distracted, it's a battle, you versus you. You need to make sure that you're winning that battle, and that you're forcing yourself to stay on focus. So people seem to think that focus is one of those things that is just easy. Some people are focused, some people aren't. It's not the case. I played high stakes and I battled with focus every single day. I battled to stay focused and I put effort in. The way I see it is if you're distracted, in a distracted state, you need to put more effort into staying focused. So for me, I like to have triggers and cues. So for me, I had this thing called, um, well, stickies, stickies and app. And it would flash on my screen every hour. And it would say, do you think you tried your hardest to stay focused every game? Did I try my hardest to stay focused every game? So the word try is very important because that's my effort. And when I wasn't, I had a bad few weeks where I wasn't focusing, I was distracted a lot, and I was getting really annoyed at myself. So I got this thing to pop up every hour, asking me to rate my effort. And I would, I would mark it out of 10. So I go, did I try my best to, to stay focused? Um, eight. Or if I wasn't, if I was struggling, I would go five, four. And then after, once you're monitoring it, once you monitor it, you improve it. So you can see, oh, I'm not actually focusing. And if your focus is gone completely, you need to either take a break or put more effort in. So like I said, narrate the hands, think about what's going on. And also like energy levels have a big impact on focus. So if you're feeling lethargic, a bit like downbeat, you're not really feeling the games, either take a break or do some exercise, get your body moving. The amount of press-ups I do or burpees to fire myself up, get my heart rate going, when blood flows to your muscles and to your brain, you feel more alert and focused. So when you sat there slouch in your chair, force it to stand up for a bit, do some exercise, get your blood going. And yeah, like I said, it's a battle. So don't expect focus to come easy. Train yourself to focus. You spend a lot of your time training yourself to be distracted, responding to stimulus. You need to put time into training yourself to be focused. So next time I challenge you, next time you're going to quit your session, do an extra 15 minutes. Just, just note this video that you've watched and go, Adam said, when I feel like I'm losing focus, concentrate harder, narrate the hand a bit longer and put a bit more effort in. And that over time, you train the skill of being focused. Keep training it a little bit. Incremental improvements. Before you know it, you can focus for longer periods and it's more effortless. So let me know how you guys get on with that one.